Hi guys, when communicating with your teacher, it's important to realize a few things. One, we are responsible for a lot of you. And two, your question is important. So when you're thinking about asking a question or getting out of your seat, always remember, look at your surroundings, check out, is your teacher busy? Is it the right time? And if it is, we will all be more than willing to help you with any question you have. So communication, it's important, and we want you to talk to us. Okay, so today we are learning about communication. This is our bright shoe for being November. Communication is, Tina, why are you walking in late? Okay, please, please, first off, you were late. Thank you for coming in quietly. Thank you don't put away. Thank you for the past back. Thank you. Thanks. Sorry. So communication is talking, like what we just did. We were communicating while she was late, but she said that she was late. So when students come to talk to me about grades, I really hope that they assess the situation and see if I'm busy, if I'm currently working with another student, if I'm teaching class, if this is an appropriate time. The best time to ask about grades is probably before school, after school, or maybe, you know, stick around at the end of the hour and ask if it's an appropriate time. Miss Short, yeah. look at my grade. I mean, I just looked at my grade on the wall, and this assignment is in already. I put, turned it in 10 minutes ago, and it's not showing up on my okay. sangle. What's well, going on? I just turned it in 10 minutes ago, so I'm going to have to get it out of my tray and put it into my side. But it's going to take a little bit of time. Well, can you do that as soon as possible? Because yeah, I have to text yeah, my mom and tell her about my grade. And I yeah. turned in my work, and so did um, I. Lila. Checked. I checked too. Yeah, and so, like, so right. you just like didn't put my grade in or something. Well, like like I said, I with him, I'm working with a student, and I will help you as soon as I'm done looking. I know. Work. I just but I just like put it in the bin. So like, okay. so any credit, I'm like gonna get grounded. Yeah. My mom is you gonna will yeah. get, you will get okay. credit for this assignment, but I right. have to. I'm working with her right now. Okay. And she has to do mine first. I know, but I mean, we're, it's like really important though. Okay. okay. I yeah. Will put it in. Because I really like. I need an A, and I can't not have an A right now. It does not show that. I have six other classes that I have. Great. Okay. So 89 okay. points. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, points. I will get a turn. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, really oh my gosh. Thanks. Thank you, too. Excuse me, Mr. Short. Yes. Yeah. Um, could we talk about this when we have time? Yeah. What, do you what's... now, or do you want me to yeah, come back after school? Yeah, I can talk now. Okay. This assignment, I turned it in already. Okay, when did you turn it in? Um, yesterday. Okay, well, I have it. I might have it in my folder, and I will get that checked in as soon as possible. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I think my strongest communicators are the students who come to me and ask for time. They will, in a sense, schedule an appointment. The students with whom I don't want to make it as easy to communicate with me would be the ones who just interrupt the lesson or barge into a conversation that I may already be having with another student or an adult. But the bottom line is, I need you to approach me in a professional manner. But to just assume that the teacher can drop everything and focus on just you at that moment is not a good assumption to make. 